Hey guys, on this video we are going to learn how to add and subtract uh, decimals. Um, there's a nice pretty little steps uh, checklist over here that we're going to follow. So the first step says to use the integer rules to decide whether to add or subtract. So we are adding on this. So what I um, recommend you doing is going back um, to Mr. Delagarza's video on integers so that you can figure out um, what you do once you add or subtract. So referring back to that video, when we're adding, if the signs are the same, so we have a positive 3.5 and a positive 0 0.28. So what that means is we are going to be adding, and because they are both positive, we're going to add and keep the sign that they have. So we have 3.5. And then the next step says that we line up those decimal points. So this is what it's going to look like. The zero will line up with the three. The decimal point will line up here. And then two and eight. Eight does not have a number to go with, so we fill in a zero so that it has a buddy. So then we just add like normal. Eight, seven, bring down the decimal point, and three. So notice the big thing that we did here was that the decimal stayed lined up. As you notice, it is nice, pretty, all lined up in this place right here, and that's how it's supposed to be. So the next example that we're going to deal with is a subtraction problem. So yet again, like I said, you line up your decimals. So the big thing you need to do, we are subtracting, so we're going to do here. And if you go back to Mr. De La, Garza, De La Garza's video, we are going to add the opposite. So what we do here is there are more positives than there are negatives, so that means we will have a positive answer. And now that we are back in adding, we have different signs, so we are going to subtract and keep the sign of that higher number. We already know that our sign is going to be positive because 12 is bigger than 4. So we have 12.03 minus 4.72. Yet again, notice how those decimals are all nice and lined up right here. So we want to make sure that we're always lining them up. All right, so then we subtract like normal. Three minus, one, or three minus two is one. We borrow to make 10, three. Yet again, we bring down that decimal and seven. So that is a subtracting problem. So adding and subtracting decimals, very easy. Follow your integer rules. So go back to Mr. De La Garza's video, line up your decimals, bring the decimal down, and there you go.